Hello and welcome to my first Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an inventory using Game Maker Studio 2. So let's begin. First of all, you're going to need two sprites. One for the items and the second one for the inventory slot. Okay, so you, you'd like to have multiple images in the sprite items uh, sprite because this, those will be all the uh, surface sprites of the inventory items you have to later use in the game. So let's add an object which will control everything that happens in the game and let's name it object controller like that. Now uh, we'll need to add a script that will initialize our inventory. So initialize inventory. Okay, we, we didn't have the script yet, but we are about to write it. So let's be patient. Let's create a script and name it initialize inventory. As we have called it before. So we'll need to pass a few arguments in the script. In this case, it's the X and Y posi position of the inventory we'd like to have, as well as the size and the number of horizontal and vertical cells. So vertical cells equals to first argument and variable horizontal cells equals to argument two in this case one but <laughs> I'm counting it I'm counting it from one. Uh, now we need xx value equals to argument two var y y equals argument three. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, slot size equals to sprite get width sprite inventory slot. So in this case, uh, it will take the width of the sprite, which is 30, 32, and this is well for the height because we're having squares. Uh, as inventory, you just, oh, you'd always like to use squares in inventory. Not always, but in mostly cases. Okay, now we need to call a map in which we will store everything. I mean, all the cells, all those positions that we are calling, and stuff like that. So, global that inventory equals to ds list create. This create a this creates a data structure list. For our inventory. Now we need to. This I mean, this inventory can be empty. It will be like meaningless to have an empty inventory because it currently it doesn't have anything inside this map. So let's score a for loop, which will check for each individual not horizontal or vertical cell and add its position according to the number of the loop we are currently going through. So j equals 0, j is smaller horizontal cells. We want it to repeat for each and every cell we got. Um, var cell map equals to ds map create. Uh, we want to store our x, x and y, y variables. Uh, so let's call uh, x, x, x equals to uh, j because we are looking into the horizontal cells times slot size. And oh, of course, we need to sum it with x. Good. And let's do the same for y. Plus, except we will, uh, of course, use uh, a instead of j. Okay, so our map shouldn't be empty right now. So let's 
so let's add those values to the map ds map add cell map x uh, x is there map add cell map y cell map um ID of our ID of course that is size global that inventory so this will automatically increase according to the size of the inventory and uh, oh of course we'll need to add uh, items to this thing so let's add item ID and let's put it to negative one. This less that uh, global that inventory and slot size. Sorry, <laughs> cell map. I'm a bit silly right now. Okay, uh, yeah. And that should be it. That should initialize our inventory. Now we need to put the arguments inside of it. 4-4. Four, four. And the position where we are spawning it is, let's say, 0 and 0, for instance. Uh, but of course we need to draw it, uh, because otherwise if we initialize it, it won't, only the values will be added to the system and nothing will be drawn on the actual game surface. So, let's click create script, and let's make a script called draw inventory. Okay, so what we will do here, we will loop, loop from the entire inventory and check for the each individual cell. After that, we will draw each cell according to the values that we have stored inside. So, how do we do that? For a, j, a equals 0 is smaller than this size. We'll be about inventory. Um, increase by 1. Uh, map equals to ds let's find value global and then here. Okay. Oh. um okay um, x y value equals to ds map find value uh, map x ds map find value map y okay now we just draw the sprite on the screen sprite in the to slot 0 x x y y okay now we need to put a new event which is draw event and just add the following like that uh, okay so let's just put our object in the room and test the game okay the inventory has been successfully drawn to the screen in the second tutorial we will learn how to add items to this inventory and as well how to uh, change their names, uh, how to create a drop option and equip option and stuff like that. Please follow and subscribe to my channel and, f and please use the link below to download the full tutorial. Thank you very much for your time and listening. Bye bye.